Hey everyone, it's close to Christmas now, so I figure it's probably time to wrap Clary's presents. This bag of sweet potato shoes was not in the Black Friday video because I didn't have it in, and it was a totally unexpected find at TJ Maxx. It's all one single ingredient, 100% sweet potato, which is a very unusual thing to find. So if you ever see anything like this, I recommend getting it for your dog, given how healthy they are for your dog to consider. Just like a crescent, and people would normally wrap for others rather than just a dog. Clearly, it's obviously not wooden than a dog, so I like the name on it. It's normal. And now on to all of the presents I got for Black Friday. If you haven't seen that video, there'll be a link in the cards just here as well as in the description. This goose was not a part of the Christmas items they had for sale at Pet Small this year for Black Friday, but it was on sale nonetheless, and that is why I bought it. Next up is the Christmas Kong. If you're watching with my Kong recipes, I'll put it the Canine Chef. Link in the cards in the description. Down underneath, you will see that I've used a knockoff called a Treat Buddy by Vibrant Life. However, after Christmas, once he opens this up, they will this will be used in every additional Kong video. Next up is the Christmas tree toy and from Pet Smart's Black Friday half off deal. The Kong is actually not part of it. I just wanted to get a one that's worth that and to use in the future rather than just a treat buddy. But nonetheless, when I went on Black Friday, they had all of the Christmas toys marked at half off, which was really nice savings. Next up is this fun toy from White Tails. My mother got full. If you haven't had any of these toys for your dog yet, you may very want you may very well want to check them out. Clearly has had the deer antler for a while now. Has absolutely adored it. Last but not least is this massive bed from Black Friday half price. It's so big I'm not even going to try to wrap it because of how much wrapping paper it will take. 
I'll probably not put anything under the tree for a while because it's just a bit cloudy. We probably just go shred the paper and have it immediately. And here's what they look like once I've finished wrapping them, except of course for the bed, which as I said is so big I'm not even going to bother to wrap it. I'll just piece it to her on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, whichever day I decide upon to let her have a presence. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. If you liked the video, please like it and share it. Have a good day, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.